This was a routine departure of a Royal Navy ship from Portsmouth Harbour. Little fanfare, but crowds are gathered to wave off HMS Kent and her company. But the deployment of HMS Kent to the Gulf is not quite so routine. Announced four weeks ago, the circumstances have already changed. Kent was originally due to patrol the Gulf alone. But now there are two British warships escorting commercial vessels through the Strait of Hormuz. HMS Montrose, which is based in the region, has been joined by HMS Duncan, all because of Iran's seizure of the British flag tanker Senna Impero. Britain's hopes of a European task force have so far come to naught, and so the UK has increased its own presence and combined operations with the US. When Kent arrives, the expectation is that uh, she will replace HMS Montrose and Montrose will return to Bahrain for several weeks of planned maintenance. What is not clear at the moment is whether HMS Duncan will return to the UK or whether she will continue to patrol and escort shipping at the same time as Kent. On board HMS Kent, not only her company, but Royal Marines from 4-2 Commando. They're specialists in protecting and boarding ships. Kent will also have a Wildcat helicopter on board to provide aerial surveillance. She's armed with Sea Scepter missiles. The idea is this show of force will deter Iran from even trying to seize another tanker. If these weapons have to be used, it would be a serious escalation. As a result of these past months and the tensions of the past months, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps have been significantly emboldened. Um, therefore, the likelihood of this, uh, of, of a contact, of, a, of some kind of exchange, an unwanted exchange, uh, is becoming more and more likely. HMS Kent was not the only warship setting sail from Portsmouth today. An hour later, the crowds waved off HMS Defender at the start of her six-month deployment. She's headed for the Far East, but the families of those on board know she could be diverted to the Gulf if needed. Rob Oakley's son Daniel is on board for his first deployment. Oh, I'm very proud. He's, uh, he was looking forward to it and uh, being part of the crew and being part of the team. We went on the family day the other day and the captain expressed really that they, uh, they're a good group of people and they're, they're, they're ready. HMS Defender is due home in February. Kent is understood to be currently scheduled to return around Christmas. But changing circumstances could change the homecoming dates for one or both these ships and their companies.